The PNID project environment provides tools to assist you in developing PNID projects and drawings. The major tools include the PNID ribbon, the project manager, the data manager, and PNID tool palettes. The PNID ribbon provides access to commands and features you typically use when creating or editing drawings in PNID projects. To access the PNID ribbon, select the Home tab on the ribbon bar. Additional ribbons are available. However, the primary ribbon that you will use when creating and editing PNID drawings is titled Home. The PNID ribbon is divided into panels. The primary PNID panels include Project, PNID, Schematic Line, Group, and Validate. Additional panels with AutoCAD standard commands are also included. Placing the cursor over an icon in the panel displays an abbreviated description of the icon and also provides the name of the command that will be executed. Pressing F1 while displaying the description launches help and displays additional information about the command found in the command reference. The ribbon panel can be displayed in different display options by selecting the down arrow located on the ribbon tab bar. The panels can be minimized to display only the tabs, minimized to display panel titles, or minimized to display panel buttons. The display options can also be cycled by selecting the up arrow located in the tab bar. To undock the ribbon, right-click on the ribbon bar and select Undock. This is beneficial for displaying the ribbon on a second monitor. The Project Manager is your main and primary interface for opening or adding new projects and drawings to the AutoCAD PNID environment. The Project Manager can be accessed by selecting Project Manager from the PNID ribbon. The Project Manager contains three tabs, Source Files, Orthographic Drawing, and Isometric Drawing. When working in a PNID project, you will primarily be working with the Source Files tab as the Orthographic Drawing and the Isometric Drawing tabs are for the 3D plant application. The PNID Data Manager provides an interface for accessing and managing data and reports within a PNID project. The Data Manager can be accessed by selecting Data Manager in the PNID ribbon. The PNID Tool Palette provides you tools for adding components to a PNID drawing. The Tool Palette is organized by tabs for accessing different types of components. Sliding the scroll bar on the right hand side of the tool palette displays additional components. The type of PNID tool palette, such as PNID PIP or PNID ISA, is established during project setup. A tool palette is associated to a project. This is important to remember. Changing tool palettes in the middle of a project will not allow you to place components from the new tool palette into the existing project. You must select the PNID tool palette you wish to use when setting up your project. However, it is possible to add additional components to the tool palette as you are working on your PNID project. Tool palettes as well as the project manager and data manager can be minimized and docked to the drawing environment. Both the project manager and data manager can be anchored to the drawing window. To anchor the project manager to the left side of the drawing window, right click on the title bar and select allow docking. Right click once more on the title bar and select anchor left. The project manager is anchored to the drawing window. Moving the cursor over the title bar causes the project manager to fly out. The drawing environment is the area in which you create and edit PNID drawings in a project. The drawing area functions much like a standard AutoCAD drawing environment. 
However, in the PNID environment, you must use PNID components for assembling your PNID drawing. PNID components contain data that makes up a smart PNID. Notice that when the Project Manager, Data Manager, and Tool Palettes are displayed in the drawing area, it is extremely reduced in size. It is recommended when using AutoCAD PNID that you use dual monitors. Dual monitors allow you to place ribbons, project manager, data manager, and tool palettes onto one monitor and the drawing area on a second monitor. This increases your efficiency in developing PNIDs by maximizing your drawing area and at the same time displaying the necessary tools for creating and editing PNIDs.